Good afternoon, fellas. This is a basic demonstration of the basic panel that I now build uh, for customers. Um, for this demonstration, I've installed the LED lights to simulate the uh, valve actuators. You can see that when the down light is on, it goes down. When the up light is off, it goes up. So for it to go down, both the up light and the down light are on. Now, when you energize it, it's going to come up to the title screen. You're going to have buttons across the bottom to adjust different features. On the F2, you have double tap, manual mode, and safety delay. Double tap is exactly what it says, is, is when it gets to the bottom of the stroke, it taps. This works out great if you're doing hollow points or if you have stuck bullets. Manual mode is if you want to operate the machine manually but have automatic lead pour. You can turn that on. You do not have to, to energize the machine here. In fact, you can't. When it's on manual mode, you will not be able to start it. Safety delay bypass. On normal operation, and I'll show it to you when, when I do a quick run through, is that there is a second before lead is poured when the limit switch is closed. Okay. Under F3, this is your settings. This is how much your delay is to start with. This is how much your lead pour is. This is how much lead's poured. Keep in mind that these are just default numbers that you can change. All you have to do is tap them punch in the number and hit enter, okay? Lead harden is after lead's poured, how long it stays at the top. Stroke and mold cool is how long it stays at the bottom for it to cool. Under F4, you have the double tap settings. This number, which is 140, is a default setting. You will have to change that number based on your air pressure and your machine tolerances. Again, you touch it and you can change it. Double tap counter is how long, how many taps it makes. Now, double, double tap stroke and mole cool is a custom timer that overrides the previous timer under F3 here when you're in double tap. Because if you're doing double tap, you're already down at the bottom cooling off so you can adjust that. Okay. Under F5, this is the feature I love the most. This is a combination counter and cycle limit. You put however many cycles you want this machine to run here. All you do is touch it, punch in the number, and hit enter. It'll count here and stop at that number. Keep in mind that if you're running a double cavity mold, this number of 500 will end up being 1,000 bullets being cast. To activate it, you just push the button and it comes on. When it, when it counts out, you hit right here and this will reset it. Now, let's do a quick run through, okay? We'll start off with manual mode first. When you turn manual mode on, you will not be able to turn the machine on, okay? But, every time the limit switch is closed, it pours lead. Now keep in mind you close the limit switch every time the handle is put to the top. Because this light is on, that means the handle is free. There's no air applied. Now, on normal operation, I turn it on. Limit switch is closed. There is a little delay. Let's pour it. You will see both lights activate, which means it's going down. So the limit switch is released because the handle is going down. Now, if both lights go off, that means the handle's being powered back up again and the limit switch is closed and the cycle will continue. Now, I'll cut it off. Safety delay bypass. It's preferred that whenever you make these changes, it is not in run mode. Now you're gonna see, when I close the limit switch, it pours lead right away. But all the other features are the same. Every time the limit switch is closed, it pours lead. This is like if you want to heat your mold up or if you're running a really small bullet. 
And then last feature is the double tap. When it closes, you see, pours lead, then the lights come on, limit switch is released, and you'll see it tap. That's it tapping at the bottom. When the lights go off again, it goes back to the top. That is pretty much it. Um, you can see that when it's in run mode, and I'm gonna click it real quick, you're gonna see that it counts. Now you can adjust this and I'll do it real quick here. We're gonna say that these are 10 or 20, okay? We're in run mode and I'll back up some. That's one, two. Oops, not on, sorry. Let me reset it. Now it's on. So I'm gonna cycle through real quick. And you're gonna see that when it hits 20, it cuts off. And you can't turn it on because the limit's on. Okay, well that is the basic Mastercast or panel. Um, I can put whatever you want up here in this in this line right here. This was just built, built for this particular customer here. Um, and this is the latest and greatest version. Um, this is a B version because in the past, 